Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about an action fantasy film called The Wrath of Titans. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. A long time ago, the humans were ruled by gods and monsters, but the half-god Perseus was able to defeat the Kraken and save humanity. When his father Zeus offered him to become a deity, the man refused and chose to live as a human instead. Even after his wife has died, the man did not pray to the gods for help, but instead, he plans to live out his life alongside his son Helios as nothing more than a simple fisherman. Their peaceful existence did not last, as the man's father Zeus chooses to visit them at night while giving them terrible news. Apparently, the gods are losing their powers due to mankind's refusal to pray, and they're no longer able to keep the demons inside the gates of Tartarus which guards the underworld, threatening to release a colossal titan known as Cronus who's the father of all gods. Zeus wants Perseus to help him stop this calamity, but the man refuses once again, not believing that he has the powers to make any difference being only a demigod. With no other choice, the deity decides to go alongside his brother Poseidon and his son Ares towards the gates of Tartarus to repair the walls. They eventually meet Hades, the brother of Zeus, who still holds a grudge towards everyone for banishing him into the underworld. The evil deity quickly betrays his family by unleashing the demons upon the gods, launching numerous fireballs that throws everyone into the air. Zeus tries to fight back alongside his brother, but are quickly overwhelmed due to their weakened state, causing Poseidon to get knocked out by the furious attacks. Things become even worse when Ares decides to betray his father by striking him continuously across the face and knocking him out in the process. The traitor walks towards the deity and takes the thunderbolt, causing a surge of energy to run through his body as he becomes even stronger. At the same time, numerous chimeras climb out from the mountains and begins flying towards the people with the intention for destruction. Perseus quickly notices a flying projectile heading towards their village and immediately chases after the fireball after realizing its danger. The massive object crashes into the buildings, causing a huge explosion in the process and attracting the attentions of the villagers as they all gather around the crater. Very soon, the vicious monster begins attacking the people by using its tail and eventually jumping out from the ground, causing massive damage around the area. The people are quickly killed by the creature as they are knocked over and burned alive, but only Perseus is running towards the danger as he tries desperately to look for his son. The monster soon appears in front of the man as it throws flames everywhere, but Perseus is able to recover quickly and begins chasing after the enemy. The main character manages to jump onto the creature's head while stabbing the monster continuously, but eventually gets thrown off by the chimera as it roars furiously at the people. The monster charges at Perseus and knocks him away using tremendous force, eventually dragging the men across the field as they both crash out from the building. Buildings. Luckily, the demigod is able to recover quickly and traps the monster by using the metal chains as he pulls apart the creature's heads. Perseus manages to trick the chimera by making the creature light itself on fire, finally killing the enemy as the monster burns from its own flames. The demigod is able to win the fight at the cost of multiple wounds on his body, and soon finds out that his son Helios has survived the attack due to his courageous battle. Perseus brings the boy to the temple of gods immediately so that he can pray to his father for help, but notices that the place has been ransacked by non-believers as all the sculptures are broken into pieces. The two eventually finds a statue of Zeus and begins praying to the god, causing a shadow to form inside the building that turns out to be Poseidon, who was able to escape from the previous ambush. However, it's very clear that the deity is gravely wounded as he tells Perseus about the fate of Zeus, and assuring the man that he is the only one who can save this world. The deity wants the demigod to find his son Agenor who is currently with Queen Andromeda. He tells the man that his son knows the way towards the fallen deity Hephaestus, who has the key to defeating Cronus, before slowly turning into dust and vanishing into the winds, leaving nothing behind but his trident. At the same time, Ares has taken Zeus hostage and explains his hatred for his father due to the deity's favoritism towards his brother Perseus. Hades mocks his brother's current predicament and reveals his grand plan of sacrificing Zeus to their father. He brings the deity towards the heart of Tartarus, where the colossal body of Cronus lies dormant. They tie the god into chains and begin drawing his powers away, eventually turning the energy into lava and transferring it towards the massive titan. Hades explains that Cronus has promised them immortality for freeing him, despite the humans' refusal to pray, which is making the gods lose all their powers. But Zeus laughs at his brother's naivete, claiming that the titan will never spare anyone. On the other side, 
side. Perseus puts on his armor once again and says goodbye to his only son before riding on top of his magical beast while flying towards the Queen Andromeda. Pegasus takes the demigod into the sky and he quickly sees that the armies are getting ready to fight near the entrance to the underworld. Perseus rushes towards the soldiers and lands in front of everyone while the people recognize their hero who slayed the Kraken and cheers for his name. The man finally reunites with the Queen after so many years and he explains to her the reasons behind this calamity, suggesting that they have to recruit Agenor as he's a demigod as well. They head inside the prison cells where Agenor is being punished for trying to get some aggressive cuddling with the Queen and looking like the Walmart version of Aquaman. Perseus tells the man that his father was killed by Hades and promises the half-god a chance for vengeance if he takes them to the fallen deity Hephaestus. The main character manages to convince his cousin to the cause and they immediately set off towards the mysterious island where only Agenor can locate by using the trident. Very soon, the massive lands appear in front of the group and the people arrive onto a place that's filled by giant trees. However, Perseus quickly realizes that something is wrong when giant contraptions are triggered and Agenor is captured inside a massive trap. Before they can save the man, a tree is thrown at the main character and he's shocked to see a giant humanoid appearing in front of him. Perseus tries desperately to run while luring the creature away from his friends, but before the soldiers can ambush their enemy, a second monster appears behind them. The people try to attack by using their arrows, angering the creature in the process, who knocks the warriors away like ragdolls and killing them like little insects. Meanwhile, Perseus continues to run away from the massive creature as the enemy wrecks havoc wherever he goes and destroying all the trees around the area. The demigod eventually makes it to a cliff where he finds a trap that was set up by the giants and decides to make a final stand. The cyclops charges towards the man and shouts furiously as he tries to crush the main character, but Perseus manages to stab the creature's hand, causing the enemy to scream in agony. The soldiers take the chance and tries to tie up the monster by using their ropes, but the enemy refuses to be defeated as he continues to struggle and throwing Perseus onto the ground. The monster eventually breaks free from the restraint but Perseus manages to activate the trap, which tosses a tree trunk onto the enemy's head and knocking him out in the process. The man walks towards the creature in victory, but soon realizes that another giant is charging forwards to save his friend, forcing Perseus to fight once again. Luckily, the elder Cyclops appears just in time to stop the conflict as he drops Agenor onto the ground and bows towards the humans in submission after seeing Perseus wielding the trident. The massive humanoids are able to bring the people towards the place that they're looking for, eventually arriving in front of a giant building where the fallen deity resides. The warriors makes it into the structure carefully and is surprised to see that Hephaestus recognizes the heroes right away. It turns out that the old man is actually the one who built everything for the gods, and they learn that the only way to defeat Cronus is by combining the three legendary weapons of the deities and creating the Spear of Trium. For the heroes to obtain the remaining items, they have to venture into the heart of Tartarus where Hades resides and the only way is through the labyrinth that the old man has built. They head towards the infamous maze immediately and eventually arrives in front of a massive building that's spinning towards the center of the earth. The people make it onto the structure but quickly hears an incoming projectile that crash lands right in front of them, sending everyone flying backwards. It turns out that Ares has found their location as one of the soldiers was praying to him and he effortlessly kills the fighters like they're nothing but insects. The evil deity goes towards the girl that was praying to him and stabs her by using his massive of sword, proving that the god of war is never a simp. Luckily, Hephaestus was able to open the entrance towards the labyrinth, and the old man rushes in to stop Ares, sacrificing himself as he gives the people a chance to escape into the maze. They make it inside the massive building and quickly realizes the complexity of the pathways, and the people have no choice but to continue into the unknown. After many hours of navigating around the puzzle-like structure, the people soon realize that something is wrong as the walls begin to move towards them. They quickly run away from the area as the buildings are seemingly brought to life life, crushing everything that's left behind. While trying to evade the incoming walls, Perseus becomes separated from his friends as he gets pushed away and falls even deeper into the building. Before the man can recover from the fall, a creature attacks him from behind and tries to pierce the main character by using its horns. Luckily, Perseus manages to push the enemy away and realizes that the monster is a vicious minotaur. The creature attacks the man once again, but the main character is able to redirect the attack onto the wall and breaks off the enemy's horn. While using it like a weapon to stab the monster continuously in the stomach, eventually ending its life. Perseus continues forwards while his friends finally arrive as well, and they soon realize that the entrance towards Tartarus is right in front of them. At the 
the same time, Cronus has finally taken all the energy of Zeus, causing the massive titan to open his enormous eyes. Upon seeing the power of his father, Hades begins to question his choice of freeing the monster, but soon hears his brother calling for his name. Zeus apologizes for banishing Hades into the underworld, and pleads for his brother to do the right thing, but before the deity can change his mind, Ares attacks the god from behind and knocks him onto the ground. Hades manages to recover quickly and begins striking back, eventually pushing both of them into the abyss as they fall down from the cliffs. Luckily, Perseus manages to arrive just in time and finds his father melted into the ground. By using the god's weapon, the main character is able to free Zeus from the binding, but not before Ares appears once again, who creates a massive shockwave that knocks the warriors away. Before the evil deity can finish the kill, Hades appears as well and stops the enemy temporarily, giving them a chance to escape. However, the god of war manages to take away the pitchfork and throws it using tremendous force, piercing Zeus right on the back as a result. The entire place begins to crumble down as the giant titan breaks free from the cave, but Zeus is able to grab onto the god weapons and clash them together, causing a massive explosion that teleports the heroes away. They quickly bring the old man into the army base and lays him onto the table, but Zeus tells Perseus that he has to take back the lightning bolt from Ares so that he can form the Spear of Trium and stop Cronus from destroying the world. With no other choice, the main character decides to pray to the god of war and challenge his brother to a fight inside the temple of Zeus. The demigod says goodbye to his friends and begins riding Pegasus into the sky as everyone cheers for his victory. Very soon, the mountain explodes in the far distance, creating a massive shockwave that covers the entire army and sending numerous demons in balls of fire as they crash into the battlefield. The monsters charge furiously at the army while the soldiers try desperately to fight back, but the mortals are clearly no match against the demons of hell as they are killed one by one. Meanwhile, Perseus arrives in the temple of Zeus to confront the god of war but is shocked to see that Ares has taken Helios hostage so that the boy can watch his own father die. Furious at the man for putting his family in danger, Perseus charges in and tries to attack the deity by using the god weapons, but he's quickly overpowered by the enemy as he gets thrown onto the ground. Ares continues striking the main character while the young boy watches hopelessly, punching the man away and crashing him into the pillars continuously before throwing him onto the ground. Just when Ares is about to deal the final blow, the evil deity notices Helios rising up against him despite the impossible odds and becomes infuriated by the young boy's courage. This gives Perseus the chance to strike as he tackles Ares away and stabs him right on the chest, eventually submitting him by choking him out. He grabs onto the god's weapon and stabs his brother right in the stomach, turning the deity into nothing but dust. Perseus quickly takes the three weapons of the gods and combines them together, eventually forming the Spear of Trium which glows continuously with power. At the same time, Hades appears in front of Zeus and apologizes for his betrayal, before grabbing onto his brother and sharing his power, eventually reviving the deity in the process. They head onto the battlefield and begins destroying the demons one by one, as they knock the monsters backwards by using their magic and clearing a way towards the massive titan. Very soon, Cronus breaks out from the mountains and roars furious at the gods, but Zeus plans to attack first as he charges up all his energy and releases them onto the monster, causing huge explosions on the enemy's body. However, this only managed to annoy the titan as it strikes at the mountains nearby and destroying everything in sight. Luckily, Perseus manages to fly into the battlefield as he carries the magical spear, planning to kill the giant monster once and for all. The massive creature sees this and throws a barrage of lava at the main character, forcing the demigod to dodge the attack in mid-air as the flames crash onto the ground and swallows the entire army. Seeing that his son is in trouble, Zeus begins charging up a final attack alongside his brother and throws the energy at Cronus, causing a massive shockwave that knocks the enemy backwards and giving Perseus the chance to fly closer towards the enemy. In a fit of rage, Cronus launches a devastating attack as he punches onto the ground, creating a massive explosion in the process while Zeus tries desperately to protect his brother by defending against it. However, the enemy's power is too strong as the enemy Energy eventually breaks through the barrier, sending Zeus flying backwards onto the rocks. Perseus takes the chance and flies directly towards the monster's face as he begins charging up the Spear of Trium, eventually making it through the flames and rushing into the enemy's mouth. The demigod is able to cut the creature by using the spear and throws the weapon into the monster's body, causing tremendous amounts of energy to be released. The massive titan screams in agony and begins erupting from the inside, causing a huge explosion that blocks out the entire sky as all 
all the soldiers cheer in victory. After everything settles, Perseus finds his father alongside Hades and realizes that Zeus is fatally wounded from the battle. He goes to his father while trying to hold back his tears, but the deity only tells his son to use his powers wisely and thanks the man for everything that he's done before slowly turning into dust and fading away into nothingness. Sometimes later, Perseus goes back to his son and decides to give the boy his weapon, telling him to always remember what the gods have done for humanity and to never forget who he really is. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.